Hi, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me today. We've got an activity for you that's going to involve learning a skill that you're, you're going to see that's very common in gymnastics, cheerleading, and it's called a round off. Now, earlier this year, we gave you a video on how to perform a cartwheel, how to learn it, and then you were able to practice on your own. Today's round off is the next skill in the progression. It is not just a fast cartwheel, though. There's a little bit more to it than that, but I promise you that if you have a good cartwheel already, you're ready for a round off. And if you, if you haven't perfected your cartwheel yet, just keep working on that. Do it a couple times a week until you feel comfortable with it. Now, if you're a gymnast and you already know how to do a round off, or you're a cheerleader who's already learned how, learning how to tumble, I'm gonna give you an extra challenge at the end, something that you can work on. But today's lesson is strictly about learning how to do a round off, so follow along and learn how to do one for yourself. Before you learn a round off, you wanna make sure that you have a good cartwheel. To do a proper cartwheel, you're gonna step forward with one leg, turn your hands sideways, place them down and kick over. In this video, you'll see that she steps forward with her left foot, so her left hand is gonna go down first. When her right hand goes down, she looks under her arm and then places her feet down on an imaginary line. Let's look at that one more time. Because she has her left leg forward, the left hand goes down first. If you're a right leg step, it would be the opposite. The key is to look under that arm and then put the feet down. And that's how you perform a good cartwheel. To learn a round off, you're gonna put more power into your cartwheel. You're gonna snap your legs together and push off with your hands. You can do it from a hurdle or you can do it from standing still like you see here. But it is a powerful cartwheel. So you're still gonna step with your same foot, whether that's the left or the right, but instead of putting your hands down the same way like a cartwheel, where your fingers point the same direction, you're gonna turn your second hand in and you're gonna push off your hands before your feet snap together. Here you can see the left foot step, the left hand goes down, the right hand turns in, she pushes off her hands, snaps her feet together, and then rebounds. That is a proper round off. Now that you've seen a step-by-step -step progression of how to do a round off, now it's your turn to practice. And if you haven't quite dialed in your cartwheel yet, go ahead and work on that. If you feel like you're ready for round offs, go ahead and give it some practice. And if you're a cheerleader or a gymnast and you already know how to do a round off, I got a challenge for you. I want you to learn one on your opposite leg. That's right. If you normally tumble with your left foot forward, I want you to try it on your right side. That'll provide you with an extra challenge and give you something to work on as well. So good luck on your practice. Can't wait to see what you are able to accomplish with this one.